The Cavaboo is the rising star of poodle mixes. Like their cousins, they have become a sought-after dog for families. This dog is a cross between the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and the Poodle. Seeing how adorable both its parents are, it's no surprise that the Cavapoo inherited these traits and more. So, what is it about the Cavapoo puppies that make people love them every day? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover! If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into 10 of the most interesting facts about the Cavapoo. How can this information help you raise a pup? Tune in to find out. Fact number one, the Cavapoo is a new designer dog. Despite what people say, the Cavapoo is not a full breed. It's not yet registered in the American Kennel Club. It's a hybrid, also known as a crossbreed or designer dog. The Cavapoo originated in Australia in the 1900s it's one of the newest poodle hybrids. During this period, breeders wanted to combine the intelligence and the hypoallergenic nature of the poodle and the sporty nature of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. After a meticulous process of selective breeding, the standard Cavapoo was born and captured the hearts of people instantly. Fact number two, they come in different sizes. Cavapoos come not only in small sizes, some of them grow up to be medium-sized dogs. This entirely depends on their parentage. If a Cavapoo is bred using a miniature poodle, the offspring will come out smaller. But if the Cavapoo is bred using a medium-sized poodle, the offspring will also grow up to be medium-sized dogs. On average, both the males and the females grow up to be 14 inches and weigh from 9 to 25 pounds. Unfortunately, there's no telling how big or small your dog might grow as puppies, unless you know the size of their parents. Fact number three, they are eager for affection. These creatures are socially oriented. The Cavapoo craves for attention and love. This is why they cannot be separated from their owners for a long time. They are prone to separation anxiety. If this happens, they can indulge in destructive activities, such as barking, chewing, and digging. Before you leave them alone, at least have a friend or a family look out for them. This way, they can cuddle and bond with other people and will not feel as anxious and restless. Fact number four, Cavapoos are friendly towards other pets. Unlike other dogs who need a long time of socialization before interacting with other animals, Cavapoos only take a minute to get along. If you already have pets at home, the Cavapoo will have no problem bonding with your pooches. It's the others you need to watch out for. Seeing how playful the Cavapoo is, highly sensitive dogs may not be in the mood to play with them. If this happens, it could result in an untimely brawl. Fact number five, their temperament varies depending on their mood. The Cavapoo possesses two major temperaments. Other times, they just want to lie on the couch, but most times, they love to run and play. As you build a bond with your Cavapoo, you will establish a form of innate communication. Sometimes, you will emancipate the same mood. This makes the Cavapoo ideal companion dogs. If you want to exercise, the Cavapoo can be your partner. Conversely, if you feel like being a couch potato, you have yourself a lap dog. Fact number six, Cavapoos are highly adaptable. These creatures can adapt to a variety of environments. They can live in vast farms and also apartments or other enclosed areas. What matters for them is the attention that you give them. Also, you need to give them the training and exercise they need so they remain healthy. Fact number seven, they make outstanding babysitters. Parents want to have a Cavapoo because of their caring, gentle, and affectionate nature. Plus, they are less sensitive, which means they can endure the rowdy behavior of children. They are unlikely to get aggressive, even if they get hurt. However, this does not mean that you should let your children play with them roughly. Remember, Cavapoo pups are small and fragile they can easily break a bone. So, 
as much as possible, instruct and supervise your children. This helps them build a strong relationship with the dog. Fact number eight, Cavapoos need constant training and exercise. According to handlers, the Cavapoo needs at least 30 minutes of exercise daily. This is essential not only for their physical health, but also their mental well-being. Exercise keeps their bodies and minds stimulated. It makes them more satisfied and happy with their lives. Plus, it keeps them from resorting to destructive behaviors. Fact number nine, they are prone to various illnesses. Like any other dog, the Cavapoo is prone to specific illnesses, such as patellar luxation and mitral valve dysplasia. They can also be diagnosed with Cavalier Episodic Falling Syndrome. This is characterized by muscle hypotonicity that causes the dog's muscles to stiffen. These episodes are usually triggered by too much exercise or excitement and may be mistaken as seizures. This is why you need regular consultations to the vet so they can prescribe vitamins or supplements to maintain your dog's health. Fact number 10. Grooming is rather difficult for Cavapoos. Because of the long and dense coat of the Cavapoo, grooming them takes time and effort. According to handlers and professional groomers, their coats need weekly brushing to keep their hair lush and healthy. These dogs don't emit a smell or odor, but if you smell something now coming from their coat, there could be dirt caught in it. In caring for a Cavapoo, regular bathing is necessary. Make sure to clean the surrounding area of their eyes, trim their nails, and clean their ears. If you don't know how to groom your pooch, better to take them to a parlor so professionals can take care of it. If you want to cut back on expenses, you can learn how to groom your pooch by yourself with the assistance of a vet or a professional groomer. On average, Caring for the Cavapoo costs around $500 to $700 annually. This includes their vaccination expenses, grooming, food, consultations, and other supplies. But this amount can be lessened if you keep them healthy. This may be overwhelming at first, but it doesn't compare to the joy and love that these dogs can give you. Do you think that you're capable of raising the Cavapoo? If so, there's no stopping you in getting one of the most wonderful dogs there is. Thanks for watching. Do you have any other facts about the Cavapoo you'd like to share? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come. And we'll see you next time.